Hi everyone, it's Jen here. Thank you for watching Really Rooted. The first thing I want to say is yes, I have on the same outfit, but oftentimes the only time for me to make videos is on the weekends, particularly with it getting dark so early. By the time I get home, there's just not enough daylight to do videos. So I do have the same outfit on, but that's not to say that I sometimes don't wear the same outfit two days in a row. If I only worked an hour in the garden and my outfit didn't get particularly dirty, then I will just hang it up and wear it the next day. I have ruined so many clothes gardening. I like to get my hands dirty, my clothes dirty, and I don't like to, to worry about all the fashion or, you know, it's we're gardening, we're gardening, we're getting dirty. So anyhow, Today, I'm going to give you a few tricks and tips I've learned on planting bulbs. When I first started planting bulbs, I would often get my one variety and I'd plant all of that variety all over the garden. Then I get my next variety and I would remember, okay, I can remember where I planted the first variety, but then by the time I got to the third or fourth variety of the bulbs that I was planting, I could not keep track. So here are a few tips for you. The first one is to mark your bulbs. How I do this is I make these little guys, which all it is, is I ordered some golf tees online. I'll put the link below. And you don't want very deep golf tees because you wanna make sure that you're not damaging any roots or any bulbs. And then I ordered some glass rocks and it was a multi-pack of different shades. And then I hot glued a rock onto the golf tee. Very simple. And now I have this. So I have multiple different colors of these. That way I can say, okay, blue is going to be for daffodils, green is going to be for tulips. And that just helps. So what you do is you put one in the ground if you have just a few bulbs you can put when wherever you have a bulb if you have a cluster you can put like one on each side and then that kind of gives you the diameter or if you have a swath you can do you know four corners to know where you've planted your your swath your drift or your cluster so either way i mean it's just a good way because i always forget i always forget no matter if I write it down you know it, I, I have a map that I also map out but it's not very accurate so these things really really help so I use these on occasion but let me show you the next thing I do because I think it's very very helpful okay I'm in the backyard and this is an island bed um, meaning there's there's two sides, I would say four, but the, the front kind of curves around and the back is a, a fairly straight line. So the boxwoods go from that back line and they curve around the front and then end back over there in the other corner in the far corner. So these boxwoods were just planted this year. So they're gonna grow, they're gonna get larger. I do not have a lot of room um, in this space, but this is a great place to plant bulbs that need good drainage because it's a raised bed, it's a rock border, and I can tuck in, especially those little pushkina uh, striped squill in these little crevices, and I think they will do well. I'm also gonna pop in some muscari and some hyacinth. Now the first thing that you'll want to do once you've selected your bulbs and you've you know which bed you're going to plant them is is you're going to want to set the bags where you plan to plant the plants. The hyacinth and I'm going to plant in the Pushkinia right in front of those because those are really tiny bulbs. And then I'm gonna have a couple of daffodils. These are ice follies. I think they'll go really beautiful with, with those. 
And you know what? I'm not going to plant the muscari in here. I'm going to stick with the hyacinth, the yellow hyacinth, the ice foley's daffodils, and the striped squill because I think those three together will be a spectacular color and we'll just have to see if they all bloom at the same time. Let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. So I've decided to add the summer snowflake, the Lacombe June, and I'm not, I'm, I never know if I'm pronouncing things correctly. So if I'm not, please correct me. And what I'll do is I'll plant the daffodils, then I'll move those once I've planted those to the next place I'm going to plant them and continue with the hyacinth, move it to the next place, then the pushkina, and then continue to the next place. So let me show you how it's done. Mia on the other side is, is flanking the bed. Um, so just from this end to the other. And I think it's going to look lovely. And because of the rocks and because of the sedum, I planted them a little bit different in every space. But now I won't have to remember. So I think this is an easier way to plant bulbs versus planting all my hyacinth and then trying to plant my daffodils, but planting by the bed so much easier guys i promise you you will thank me for this later especially if you're new to planting bulbs and then also on the golf tees very easy way if you do happen to just ha need to plant some bulbs but then you want to add something in there mark that outline so you know where those bulbs end it will be very very helpful Okay guys, so I hope this has been helpful for you. These are just two techniques, but remember, do not plant your bulb by the variety. Plant it by the bed and plant multiple varieties in one bed and you're gonna find it so much easier. So now that I've gotten my bulbs in this area, I know, hey, I've got everything I want in there and I'm not gonna have to go back and plant different varieties. So planting by the bed makes it so much easier. Also, when there are times when you can't do that, maybe you have a, a bulb order that's running behind. In that case, use your little markers to know where you've planted it. Or if it's a new variety of bulb for you that you haven't planted before, you can also use that marker. That way you can keep an eye on it to see if it's coming up, to see if it's rotted, those sort of issues. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.